The time is finally here. I have been waiting for the Mississippi River to freeze over for over a month now. And with the recent cold snap we had this week, it has went from completely open water to eight to 10 inches of ice, which is just unbelievable. So today we're gonna do some fishing for walleye and sauger. And as requested by a lot of you, I'll even bring some home to fillet and cook for dinner. My name's Nathan Speltz and welcome to another day on the ice. We are set up this morning about as far away from the crowd as you can possibly get. You have a huge chunk of people right to my left, and then you got me all by myself with no tents around me. The best thing you could do at an overpopulated spot is get away from the crowd. There is no reason to have everybody in one spot. A lot of foot traffic, a lot of lines, and it's just never good. It's not as bad on a river as much as it is on a lake because this is moving fish. But still, if you can, try to get away from the people because why not? We're going to get dropped down here and see if we can't start the morning off with a fish. This whole area we're fishing is all 22 to 24 feet of water. The whole stretch here is one big flat. So we're going to drop down and see if they are hungry for the hyper rattle. That's why I've never really understood why everyone needs to be so close to each other. Especially on a river when the whole area is the same depth, there is no need to be tent to tent. Along with this jig and rod, I'm gonna send down a dead stick. I like having two baits on bottom, just in case the fish are finicky, they may want a live bait. Perfect. We're gonna start jigging and see if we can get some fish to come through. Shouldn't be too long. Usually this place is just packed with aggressive fish. We'll see if they're hungry. Here we go. Got him. There we go. First fish of the morning is a perfect eater size sauger. So we're gonna keep this guy for dinner and get right back to fishing. Seems like the majority of these fish come through hugging bottom. So we're gonna drop it down. We're gonna keep it really close to bottom just in case they are hugging it closely and we can't see them. I like to be far enough down there where I can bounce it off bottom. I love hitting my bait off bottom, stirring it up quite a bit, especially on the river. It seems to work really well for bringing in some fish. So we're gonna bounce it around down there and see if we can't get a few more to come through here quick. This guy's coming right up to it, two aggressive fish. Got him. There we go. What do we got here? Hey, <laughs> okay. Back in the water. That was a little catch and release. Sadly, we didn't even get to show that one off to the camera. He was ready to get back in the water. That's all right though. I wasn't gonna keep him anyway. He was a little bit too small for my liking, but those are the kind of fish that I like to see, those aggressive ones. Doesn't matter if they're small. Fish are fish when they are aggressive. They are just such a blast. I'm surprised my dead stick has not been getting any action. Looks like we got a few fish coming in from the left there. That guy's going right up for this bait. Here we go. He's right on it. Oh, he got spooked. Someone's walking right on by and it just spooked both the fish. Darn it. <laughs> They looked aggressive too, like they were just about to eat. That sucks. Nothing you can do about that. Gotta expect that when you're fishing with finicky fish and a whole lot of people around. It's just gonna happen. Yo, question for you. What's up? What's, what's wrong here? Like what One. Is the setting One. To One. Okay, and then what about this? I can't see it. Oh, that's Let's look it. I don't want it on hammer. Gotta call you back, buddy. He just grabbed it. Got him. He's off. He might be coming back. Uh, he just lost him. I wanna see if I can get him to eat this. Oh, 
Here we go. Got him. There we go. Feels like a good one. Oh yeah. Sweet. That is awesome. Had him on the dead stick, lost him. And he came back for part two with the jigging bait. Beautiful sauger, as you can tell by the dots there. Gorgeous fish. We're gonna bring him home and we are gonna cook him up as well. Let's get back down and catch some more. I wanna do some ice checking out here really quick and see how far I can actually get out just so I know for next time. Looks like we're still sitting at around eight to 10 inches here. We'll see once we get closer to this area. I think we're about in the middle of the river right now. Should be about 21, 22 feet of water. Yeah, looking like still eight to 10 inches out here. That's good. Gotta be careful with the snow covered ice. It's usually never as thick. I don't even need a drill. I can see this is 10 inches right here. Okay, that's what I was curious. I'll come back out here later. Best thing I can do is get as far away from everyone as possible. And I think right here would be pretty much perfect. All right, let's get back in there and keep fishing. It is currently negative six degrees right now. I think real feels looking around negative 20, maybe only negative 15. It was a little earlier this morning when it was windy, but seems better now. This cold weather we've had this week has been just perfect on the ice. Going from zero inches to, I think we're at 10 right now, is unbelievable in a period of three or four days. But then again, it was negative 15 degrees for three days, so that'll definitely do it. Here we go, this guy's coming right up to it. Got him. There we go. Really high suspended fish too. Okay. Moon eye, you are not what I thought I was gonna catch. <laughs> I thought you were a high suspended walleye. These are just such a cool fish. That is awesome. We're gonna get her right back in the water and let her swim off. That is probably one of the coolest unexpected catches I have had in a long time. It has been a while since I've caught one of those. When you're fishing the Mississippi River, you have a chance at pretty much every fish. I mean, I have seen a sturgeon caught at this spot. I've seen sheephead, perch, smallmouth, largemouth, pike, muskie. I feel like I'm forgetting a couple other ones, but you really have a chance at all different kinds of species of fish. You never know what you're gonna catch when you're fishing at this spot. That is definitely an awesome bycatch. We're gonna keep on jigging and see what we can catch next. Got him. There we go. He was sitting on it for well over 10 minutes. What do we got here? Oh, there we go, a little sauger. All right. I cannot believe how finicky these fish are. Took me 10 minutes of jigging, switching between two different lures to finally get this guy to eat. This is probably the 40th fish I've seen in the last three hours but the first to actually eat. They have been super finicky. They haven't wanted to eat anything, but that's all right. She was a little too small, so we're not gonna keep it. I don't feel the need to keep those really little guys, even if it is technically legal, because it is a sauger. No reason to keep a fish that little. And I wouldn't be surprised if we can't get ourselves another keeper size sauger or walleye. We're gonna get dropped right back down. We've got about 15 or 20 minutes until sunset. And I'm thinking the closer we get to sunset, the more walleye 
we should be seeing. The majority of the walleye that I see here come through right at sunset or a few minutes before. Super high suspended anywhere from 5 to 10 feet under the ice. And usually they're pretty aggressive. It has been a fairly slow day today. That is just fishing for you. This cold weather can definitely turn off the fish. No matter what, we've got two keepers and that is more than enough to cook up tonight. We're gonna keep on fishing and see if we can't get keeper number three. Looks like we got a few coming off bottom here. We'll see if this guy's hungry. Oh, did he just take the bobber under? He did, all right. I'm gonna let this guy eat it really quick to make sure he gets it. Did he drop it? Nope. He did not drop it. We got him. And he's off. Wow. What is up with the hooks on this lure? They are just not wanting to stick the fish. I think that is fish number three or four we've missed on the dead stick because the hook is just not getting in the right place. That was a good one too. <laughs> that definitely sucks. We're gonna see if he actually wants to come back and eat this. What is going on? That is the fifth fish missed on my dead stick. That doesn't even make sense. I am so confused here. Oh, dead stick's down again. I suppose we're gonna see if this fish sticks. It's bigger fish coming in from the left there. There we go. Got him to stick this time. What do we got? Oh, look at that. Is this guy going to try to eat? It's a really nice fish. This is an aggressive fish here. Holy cow. Oh, I got him too. Okay. I was not expecting this guy to actually eat. Oh, that's a nice one. There we go. Well, look at that. Nice little double up with fish. That is just awesome. We're gonna get him right back in the water here. I think I might keep this guy actually. Since this is 17 inches, we are gonna keep it. After this, I'm not gonna keep any more. Three fish is enough for me. We are gonna continue fishing, give it another 20 to 30 minutes until it gets dark, and see if we can't catch any more fish. Seems like they are just crazy aggressive right now. Oh, look at this guy. This is a good fish here, unless it's two of them. This is definitely a good fish. Let me see if I can bring them up a little bit more. Come on, get up here. All right, it is time to call it a night. The sun is set, which means we're not gonna catch any more fish. Sadly, this river has no night bite for walleye or sauger. As soon as it gets dark, the bite is over. That's all right though. We caught three keepers and I am more than happy with that. I'm gonna grab my fish, I'm gonna pack up and I will see you guys at home. I'm gonna be honest, I am mainly just a catch and release guy, so I rarely ever actually keep fish. 
So it has been a while since I have filleted up a walleye. I might be a little bit rusty, so we're gonna get right into it because I am hungry. And we're gonna do the other side just to balance it out a little bit before we finish cutting off that piece. Seems to be a lot easier if I do both sides first and then finish cutting it. And now we're gonna flip it back to this side and finish off this filet. All right, perfect. Flip it over and get this one done as well. We're gonna try to get the cheek out of this fish if we can. It's a little bit smaller, so there's not gonna be much, but hey, still worth a try. Just dig in there and do a little half circle, flip them over, and you should be able to just slide your knife right under it and grab that. We're gonna do the same thing with the other side. Now the next step is getting the skin off and cleaning it up just a little bit. I'm gonna stick my knife into the end of the tail until I hit that skin and then just slide my knife up the rest of the filet. And it should just peel right off. Try to clean up this area just a little bit the best I can and then they should be good to go. And the last thing we're gonna do is cut out the pin bones. Just cut a super small line right across those bones, right in the center. You should be able to cut those right out of your filet. All right, this is the finished result after I removed the pin bones. These are fairly smaller fish. The fillets aren't gonna be giant, but I think I did a good job. I am of course gonna run these under some water just to clean them up a little bit more. I am sure you guys watching have a better way to fillet them or a faster way to fillet them, which is awesome. Everyone does it their own way. Like I said, I do not fillet up fish a lot. So every single time I do it, I am learning and improving. I'm gonna fillet up the other fish and we're gonna get cooking. We're gonna be making some walleye fish tacos. I'm gonna season it with a little bit of Cajun seasoning here. This is usually my go-to. I'm gonna add a little salt as well and then we should be perfect. I'm gonna give them just a little bit and they should be ready to eat. What we're making the tacos out of is very simple. Tortillas, lettuce and tomatoes, a little hot sauce and something just a little bit weird. I like Chick-fil-A sauce on my fish tacos, especially walleye and crappie. It just seems to taste good. I tried it one time and since then I have been loving it. We're gonna grab these out of here. Looks like they are done. Starting to fall apart, which isn't an issue. That just means they are good to go. All right, we're gonna get this turned off. I'm excited to throw these on the tortilla and give them a taste test. I mean, they just look absolutely gorgeous. I mean, just wow, these turned out really well. We're gonna put them on the tortilla we're gonna see what they taste like. First things first, I'm gonna try just a plain one. That is incredible. I mean, that is just so tasty, wow. These really don't even need tortillas, but I thought I'd make some fish tacos tonight. So we're gonna do just that. I'm gonna make two of them here, see how they turn out. And they are good to go. We're going to see how they taste. I have been dying to try this all night. Mm. 
that is just incredible. I have got to get back into catching cooks. I mean, I love cooking up fish. I like filleting them. I am just big on catch and release. I like watching the fish swim off, but you know what? They are just so tasty. I think I did a great job. I really enjoyed it and I think it tastes amazing. Come here, tell me what you think. Try it. Pretty good. Good? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, that's all I wanted to know. Thank you. I think it turned out really good. She likes it, I like it, and that is all that matters. I know this video is probably all over the place. This is my first catch and cook of a walleye that I think I've ever done on the channel. So I am still learning to get this down to a science. But if you guys have any recipes you think I should try, please let me know down in the comments because I plan to do a whole lot more catch and cook ice fishing videos or maybe even open water videos coming later this year. Hope you guys enjoyed and thank you so much for 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. We just hit it yesterday, which is absolutely unbelievable. I love you guys. You mean the world to me and I wouldn't be here without you. Thank you guys so much for watching until I see you guys in the next one. Peace out.